Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swim Bird, and welcome back to the Hardcore Adventure Challenge. We are in Minecraft 1.7, trying to beat the game on Hardcore, but we are in Adventure Mode, so we cannot break any blocks without the proper tools, so it's much more challenging. It looks like the sun's coming up, which is a good sign. Uh, we don't have any monsters to deal with, hopefully, but there are... Well, those creepers are just whispering in the distance. What are you guys doing? Uh, a few villagers seem to have survived. They kept jumping out the window here, but I blocked it up. Um, let me grab my pork here and we'll get going for the day. I'm gonna try... What did I... I should really not use all of this wood, but I do want to cook some potatoes. That's not gonna last very long. I got a couple. I'm good. I'm okay. Alright, so let's get going here after a quick steak break. So, my goal... I've got, I've got some food. I've got a, a nice iron sword that I found at the blacksmith in this village. I've got my iron pants. Things are going good. There's flowers everywhere. It's looking up for us. Uh, and we got crops growing. There's some donkey, too. Sweet. So my goal, I think, today, I do want to gather some more wood, obviously. I'm going to need a lot of that. I saw some people suggest that I should build a house in the jungle, and I, I could do that, but I want to build up supplies first, because I am very worried that uh, I'm going to die easily in the jungle, because there's so many, you know, trees and coverage and stuff that it would be tough to find uh, monsters and avoid them. Although I'm wandering into the dark forest as we speak, which is even worse for that type of thing, I think, because it's a, there's room for stuff to spawn here <laughs> and it's very dark. So I'm going to grab some wood real quick before we go. Say, so, like I mentioned, I can actually break blocks, but I have to have the tool. So I've got my axe here and we're going to break this down. Um, so other stuff on my list, I didn't build a bed yet and uh, I'm, a few people mentioned doing that. And then I realized, I was like, if I sleep in a bed, it's going to make a spawn point. But it doesn't matter, because I'm in hardcore, and when I die, <laughs> the world gets deleted anyways. So there's no point in having a spawn point. The other thing that I also wanted to do, is, as if this challenge probably wasn't hard enough, I don't think I'm going to make a bed, guys. Because if I sleep at night, then we're not going to see monsters as often. One could be sneaking up on me right now, I don't know. Um, but yeah, we won't see as many monsters if I'm sleeping at night, and that's not exciting. So I want to um, I want to not light up the area too much, and I want to stay up during the night and defy my parents, stay up past my bedtime. I'm never gonna sleep, guys. I'm 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 super hardcore in this, so I don't sleep. That's how that works. So we got a lot of wood. That's good. I'm gonna make some charcoal. I think that would be good because I can't. Uh, I could mine actually. Let's do that. I want a few torches first though, because I want to light up this area a little bit so that these villagers don't die. They're sitting out here just like cattle. Well, there's cattle over there also <laughs> standing out here grazing. But these guys are, I don't know. They're so stupid, but I love them. All right, so let's go back in this house that I messed up. I don't think my potatoes are done. There we go, I got half of them. Let's do, yeah, I'm just going to make charcoal with most of this wood if I can. At least if a piece, and then I'll switch it out, and that'll be good. Because then we can make some torches. I got enough stuff for sticks. I think I'm ready to do my... Uh, mining adventure here though let's do a couple more pieces there we go that's good i'll turn all the rest of this into wood since we uh we could use some wood here and i'll build backup stuff i should take my crafting table with me maybe or just i'll build a backup there we go let's go do some exploring i got i got dirt blocks so that <laughs> i know someone was like if you fall in a too deep hole then uh, like a two block deep hole then you're screwed because I can't break it you know if I don't have the tools so I just got to make sure I always have supplies I can always uh, you know break the blocks that I need to break and also that I uh, have an extra block to jump stack on that's like a that's one of the first things I remember about Minecraft is like learning that you could jump stack and like get out of areas or like climb up really high using that I thought that was really cool and now it's, it's just second nature all right, so we got, we're like surrounded by this dark forest here. It's creepy. It makes it more hardcore. All right, so I'm gonna explore. I remember seeing some cave holes over here. As weird as that sounds. I know I forgot to get my torches. It's okay. We'll be fine. <laughs> I, got, I got iron pants. We'll be perfectly fine. So I, there's the jungle, there's the other village. So I wanna make sure that village doesn't get eaten either. So I gotta be very careful about protecting my buddies, the villagers. But I'm pretty sure there's a cave over here. When we, we made our way to this the second village, I saw this like cave that all these animals were flocking around, and I think that's where I want to explore, because it was like a nice cave opening. Very clear, but deadly. I should be really killing a lot of pigs on the way. Whoa! Is this an opening, or is this just a dead... yeah. There's always these pits in Minecraft that just have like shallow water, <laughs> and it's, it's a grotto or something, I guess. 
There's no Playboy bunnies in there, though. Um, so let's go <laughs> over here. Man, the birch forest. So talking about the new biomes and the new 1.7 stuff, the birch forest is a cool little variation, but I've yet to meet that many people who are really that into birch. Like, do you... If, leave a comment if you like the birch wood. I mean, the wood is nice. It's like a light-colored wood. But I don't know about the... Like, the trees, they're kind of cool. They're just... They never seem to be that popular with anyone, though. I, I don't see that as much birch used. Uh, I have a feeling that the acacia is probably not going to get used that much either. Even though it's new, I don't know. Oh, wow! We're in a sunflower plains. Cool. So this is east, isn't it, right? Because the sunflowers always faced east in Minecraft. That's cool. It's another new 1.7 thing. There's flowers everywhere. I keep forgetting that there's, like, so many new flowers. So this is the other village over yonder. And there should be a cave around here. We can go explore that. I don't know why I got so many sunflowers. I guess I can get dye and stuff, but... This is... I don't know. This plains is just... If this was a normal world, it would be so peaceful. Because there's so many animals just grazing and beautiful, ugly pigs. Um... <laughs> But yeah, it's it's like very peaceful, except for whoa, that's a cool little platform. I so the the other thing about the jungle, I've never really built a home in the jungle, and I've always wanted to do like a treetop house. But on hardcore, I don't know if that's worth the risk because if I accidentally fall down too far, I'm dead and the world's gone. So yeah, there's that. Um, <laughs> we can go mine in this cave. This looks like a nice cave. There we go. Do I not? Oh crap! I got too much stuff. We don't need these flowers. I can get more sunflowers if I need them, I guess. I'm just gonna... <laughs> I spent that time, like, gathering sunflowers a little bit just because they were there. Uh, I should probably dig around that to see if there's more iron, but I want to keep exploring. Okay, eyes open, guys. I do have my brightness set. Oh, man, it's only on bright. So hopefully this isn't too dark for you guys. I really need some torches. There's a way to go into the options. I've mentioned this in other videos, but you can set the brightness, like, way higher. So, uh, you know, I might actually do that real quick so that you guys can see, because I don't have any torches. There we go. So you guys can see the, uh, the contrast between the light here. So if you don't know this little trick, uh, you go into your Minecraft folder and you go to Options, and you can change the gamma. Originally I had it at uh, 3.0, but that was still kind of dark, I guess, in the new version. I have it on 8.0 now. If you go, like, up to, like, 100 or anything, like, a lot of people are recommending to put, like, 10,000 in there. That completely uh, makes the game not creepy at all because uh, it makes it, like, there's no darkness, basically, at all when you're in here. And it's uh, it's just the value that, like, controls how dark it is when you're, you know, out of the sunlight and everything and torchlight. But I don't want it to be, you know, not spooky. I want it to be a little dark for me, but I also want you guys to be able to see. Because when, when you render videos, they always uh, get a little darker. Anyways, but yeah, now we're in here. So, yeah, I should have brought torches. I know that's always, you know, a thing that I forget. But as long as I can see, that's fine. I just have to look out for monsters, obviously. That's a big deal. Whoa, that looks like a little, like, throne or something. So, yeah, I've got a bit of iron. I think I've almost got enough to... I could make a chest plate and stuff. Uh, I just want to get enough supplies where I can head back to base. So far, no monsters in this cave, surprisingly. Alright, I hope that continues because I'm just, like, super paranoid now. <laughs> in the, yeah, if I had a spawn, like, I'm so close to where the village is, like, in a normal Minecraft game, I would just run back here and get my stuff if I died, but obviously we can't do that. So one thing I wanted to ask you guys, though, uh, I, I watch a lot of my, uh, YouTube videos on mobile, just because I like to, you know, when I'm at the computer, I'm usually working on videos for you guys, but uh, when I'm, you know, walking around, making food, doing chores, all that stuff, I, uh, I usually use the phone to watch it so I can save time and, like, multitask, but I'm curious how most of you guys uh, watch, because I know a lot of you are on the computer, a lot of you are on the phone. Uh, I thought it was funny, when, when you make your banner for your channel, you're supposed to make it huge so that if it shows up on a TV, it'll look normal, like it'll have dimensions for that. But I was like, who's watching stuff on TV? And then I realized like my PlayStation 3 can can do it. So I started a while back, I started watching some YouTube stuff on there and it's a little odd, but they play ads on the TV. And there's this one, I keep getting this one Target holiday ad, but for some reason, like I got it like a ton of times on mobile 
I think if you watch like Conan O'Brien videos, that's like the only ad that they have for some reason. But anyways, it showed up a ton of times on mobile, so I knew what it sounded like. And then when it played on the TV, it became like demonic and slow. It was like super creepy. I don't know. I need to take a video of it because it happened like a couple times. But it was really weird. I don't know if anyone else has weird glitches with the TV version, but it's kind of cool watching it. Like, I, th I feel like YouTube is the new, you know, TV channel because you can go through so much different stuff. You don't, I don't know. Cable TV is not as useful anymore now that there's like Netflix and Hulu and YouTube and all this stuff to watch. It's like, why wait for the program you want to watch to be on? Just watch it when you want. So anyways, we got a lot of iron. Got like a half stack almost here. Half stack of flapjacks. I think that's pretty good. I'm really surprised we haven't seen any monsters. I'm definitely on hardcore, which is hard difficulty. And you can't change it once the world starts. Some people are asking me how I got an adventure mode in hardcore. So the one thing you can do... If you really wanted to cheat in uh, in hardcore, you can actually open to LAN, which is the uh, when you want to play on a, you know, like if I wanted to play on a Minecraft world with Danielle, I wouldn't need a server. I could just open to LAN, and then she's on the same internet as me. Ooh, it's dark already. Jeez, that was quick. And uh, so then we could play together. But if you do, it's in this, here it is right here. But you can turn cheats on, and you can also change your game mode. So if I was to do that, I could uh, change it. I can't break this with a pick, can I? I might need to stack out of here. If I if I change that though, I could open a little mini server and have cheats on. And uh, I actually did that just so I could get another uh, account to log in, use creative to change me to adventure mode, and then log out, and then I close the land. So that's a little tip for you if you want to do this challenge. You have to set yourself to adventure mode, and you can't do that normally in hardcore because you know you can't use cheats. So that's how you do it. Oh, oh, Enderman. Is he holding a different flower? It's not. I think it might be a poppy. It just looks weird because I'm used to him holding roses. Um, we got a. Well, someone said that you can use the uh, sword to break watermelon. We can. Sweet. Watermelon is a nice, handy food. They, it also breaks leaves. Oh crap! I don't have room. I don't need these poppies. I don't know why I have so many flowers. <laughs> Originally, I was like, I'm gonna use this flower as a weapon. All right, so we got iron, we got some food. I'm gonna start a watermelon farm. Things are looking up, just don't wanna look at that guy. Okay, so this is the jungle, and it's right near this other village, which is nice, just doesn't have a blacksmith. I'm, I was uh, really happy that that blacksmith was there, because not only did I get this sweet sword and armor, I also got the uh, the furnace there that to help me cook stuff, so that's good. Very handy. I can mine cobble now, so it's not that big of a deal. I should get a nice amount of cobble. Oh man, why did they build their village here? First off, look at that. That's <laughs> that's always <laughs> the villagers just are the worst architects. That's what they get for using the uh, the default game engine to render their stuff. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> spider! Ah, zombie! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Why did I go down here? Why did I go down here? Oh! Oh, this could be the end, guys. Oh my god! Okay, they're stuck in water. Where did these guys all come from? They just like jumped out of the sky at me. Oh my god. Ugh. Get out of here. There we go. That, like, <laughs> I was like, this is a pretty chill episode <laughs> until that happened. I'm gonna hear another zombie. They can smell me from so far away. Where are you, zombie? There you are. He's gonna come after me. Let's grab this iron real quick. That's why, yeah, like, I know it's so dangerous to be out at night. You gotta eat. Um, but it's so much more exciting to just play at night. I feel like beds, I love the fact that you can spawn again at a bed when you die. Like, that's a real handy, like, way to make a spawn point. So you don't always go back to the, you know, spawn. Otherwise, no one would branch out from spawn if that weren't the case. But the, I just don't, I think when they added the ability to sleep through the night, it made the game a little too easy. But, you know, you don't have to use that, obviously. Like, that's one of those things. There's so many games that give you things to make the game easier, and it's like, you don't need to use it. You could just, you know, go with what you want to do. And I think that that pig scared me. <laughs> I think that's what uh, what's nice about a lot of games like this. It reminds me of with Pokemon too. There's like the experience all, and uh, if you don't use it, the game's a lot harder. So you kind of have to make that choice. And there's your life lesson for the day, guys. <laughs> make the choice to make things a little more difficult on yourself, and it might feel more th worthwhile in the end. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh god. This is not good. Okay. Well, that actually worked out pretty good. Thanks. I got some more cobble and some gunpowder. 
I was really worried there <laughs> like when I missed that jump to get out of here. But that, yeah, he just basically killed his buddy. I think that one creeper was on my side, and he was like, if I'm going out, I'm going to help you. Here you go. <laughs> Have some cobble. Uh-oh, skeleton. Eh, ah, he fell in. <laughs> All right, that wasn't too bad. Like, one pick is almost gone. All right, let's take this 43 iron back, make myself a full set of armor, and go camp out at base, because I want to make sure my villager buddies aren't dying. Let's go, let's go. So I need to remember to switch to my iron sword as well when it's time to uh, get down into the nitty-gritty combat. This is the village I don't care about as much. That's actually what I should name it. The village I don't care about as much. So uh, if something happens... Oh, there's a bat. If something happens here, it's okay. The villagers here were kind of smart. They built their doors up. Oh, um, no. I'm not going over there. <laughs> they built their doors up away from things. So that's good. Uh, I guess I should flee. All the zombies are distracted. And uh, someone was, someone else was asking um, why the zombies weren't breaking down the doors. And I think it's because in we're in adventure mode, so they can't break the doors, maybe. I'm not sure if that's how it works. I'm pretty sure those zombies would really be inside that house right now if that were the case, that we could break them. Yeah, so they're definitely not able to break these things. I'm going to just let them hang out there. The creeper's just like, hey, what's going on? He's, like, fascinated by the zombie's uh, plight to kill the villagers. All right, so we need to find a safe place. I think I'm ready to head back to my base here. I got wheat there. I don't need anything that that village. It was just nice to check it out. So the villagers, they might be safe, considering the, the zombies can't break the doors down, even though we're in hard mode. So anyways, let's head back here. Thank you guys for hanging out with me yet again. And, uh... Leave some comments, let me know. I'm, I'm curious, like, wh where you guys watch this stuff. There's a witch. Stuff like that. I'm always, uh, I'm always curious. And use that gamma trick if you don't want to have to, like, lay torches. That's another thing. Don't lay torches and the game's a lot harder for you, too. So, there's a little tip. Oh, no. They're hiding in the sunflowers. <laughs> they think they can be disguised. Oh, no. I really gotta run. Because there are a lot of people. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna try to make my way back home if I can. I'll see you next time for more Hardcore Adventure Challenge. I almost said Survival Safari. That's an old series. Hardcore Adventure Challenge. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Oh my god. Speed Spider. No! <laughs> I forgot that spiders can have potions. I'm pretty sure that's a speedy spider. Oh no, this ain't looking good. Uh, where's my house? <laughs> Pig, get out of the way!